Good. We're going to try this again. We're going to try this again. And there we go. I think we got it set up. So I'm going to start all over again, okay? Because we got to do this for all the people who jump on YouTube and check out some of my some of my morning clips. So there we go. 7.45 in the morning. Good morning, Double R Radio. Streaming live from San Antonio, Texas. There we go. We're back live. There we go. Part two of part one. Anyway, good morning. Shout out going out to Garden Grove, California in the house. The United Kingdom's in the house. A whole lot, a lot of San Antonio. It's the, a whole lot of us. The mobile apps are still logged on right now. Dallas, Texas. Colorado City in the Casa. Laredo. Corpus Christi. Mexico. Mexico. Cinco de Mayo. Mexico. You know, it seems that everybody jumps on the bandwagon on the Cinco de Mayo celebrations. Who cares, right, what day it is? It's Cinco de Mayo! It's so-and-so! People don't care. People are going to use whatever they can use to celebrate whatever they want to celebrate. And hey, man, Cinco de Mayo is a better... What better excuse than that, right? Cinco de Mayo. If you're gringo, if you're Japanese, if you're black, white, whatever the case may be, it's Cinco de Mayo! It's Cinco de Mayo! <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to get back to this story that I'm reporting. I'm not making this up. So, let's get back to the story. We're going to start it all over again. There we go. Check this out. An Oregon man is accused of sexually assaulting a chicken. And the chicken called 911 and said that there was this man who wouldn't leave his pecker alone. So, police officials, they showed up and they found the chicken being sexually molested. <laughs> anyway, they found the man grabbing the chicken's breast, grabbing the chicken's thighs. Man, this man was going wacko. Man, sexually assaulting that chicken. And then they found a man messing with the chicken's pecker. Hey, man, leave the chicken's pecker alone. Anyways, good morning, shout out. That's a Shirley, Shirley Velasquez. Good morning, Shirley. Thanks for joining me. So anyway, <laughs> anyways, the man, 27 years old, was arrested and booked. And eh? this week on charges of sexually assault on an animal, public indecency and menacing and disorderly conduct. When it's all said and done, he was sexually assaulting the chicken. <laughs> the chicken was quoted as saying he'd prefer going to Colonel Sanders than be sexually assaulted by this guy. Anyways, this chicken was was also claimed to saying that he knew something was wrong with this guy when uh, the guy told the chicken, Feather be thy name. Nah. That's not funny. Feather be thy name. No, nope, not going to work. Robert, that's not going to work, Robert. That's not funny, Robert. Uh, okay, I'm sorry about that. Anyways, um, my daughter played a sick joke on me yesterday. And only I can play sick jokes. But my daughter played a sick joke on me yesterday. Well, my daughter, my youngest daughter, she uh, she called me. But she's got a cell phone. She's, got, she, she, you know, she's doing her thing. But she called me through Messenger. Okay, through Facebook Messenger, okay? Good morning, shout out to Elsa Valdez. Good morning, Elsa. Mississippi in the casa. Well, anyways, my daughter called me through Facebook Messenger. And you know how it rings kind of weird, kind of funky? And I said, who in the hell's calling me on Messenger? Well, it was my daughter. She goes, hi, Daddy. I go, hi, Mika. And my daughter, on Facebook Messenger, I don't know if you know this or not, but at the bottom, it gives you a lot of options where you can put a rabbit face on, or you can put all these different faces on while you're talking. Which, and, and she was she looked like a rabbit. I said, Mika, how come you look like a rabbit? She goes, oh, I'm using this special app for Messenger. And I said, I want to try it. So I started messing it with it on my end. And before you know it, I was dressed like Houdini. I was dressed like this. I was dressed like that. You know, and I'm playing with her. We're going back and forth with silly, silly faces and silly pictures and stuff like that, right? Good morning, shout out going to my primo. There we go. Hello, Good morning, primo. So we're kind of messing back and forth with pictures of each other while we're talking on Messenger, right? I put on the rabbit thing, and I did this, and I did that. Well, we finished our conversation. Okay, Mika, we'll talk to you later. And we hung up. Sounds pretty simple, right? Well, five minutes later, my oldest daughter calls me, and she goes, Dad, Dad. Angela just sent me some pictures of you with all these silly faces, Dad. What were you doing? What were you thinking? And I go, what do you mean? She took pictures of me? Dad, she's got lots of pictures of you with all these silly outfits on your face. 
I said, me not no mas. So now my daughter, my youngest one who took all these pictures of me, gets back to me and she goes, okay, Dad, I want tickets for Game 5 where I'm putting these babies on Facebook. <laughs> man, my daughter plays hardball. Yes, she does. Anyway, and I'm not lying either, man. So look, I guess she's getting my tickets for Game 5. 7.50 in the morning, big game tonight. Spurs Rockets, Game 4. Game 3, should I say. Um... Ask me who's going to win, I don't know. Ask me who I want to win, of course, my beloved San Antonio Spurs, but we're going to figure that out. We really, really are. Anyways, it is Friday morning. Do not forget, uh, later on this morning, the return of my sidekick, Dr. Pepino, will be joining us, and uh, he's got some things to say. He's very upset because he hasn't been part of my morning show, so we're going to figure that out. Let's get me going. Let's do something. Bye. In Super Grupo Mas. This is Freeform Friday. Buenos dias. Double R Radio, streaming live from San Antonio, Texas. Buenos dias. There we go.